welcome back to another advent calendar unboxing this time we have this beauty advent calendar by john lewis and partners as you can see uh it's quite heavy uh it's not very i mean i would say the colors are not very christmasy but that doesn't really matter you know not everything has to look the same uh so it comes in a sleeve like that and this is it so I'm going to start the unboxing in a second. Uh, before I do, I would just like to remind you about our giveaway uh, that's going on at the moment. Uh, you can find the link above my head and also in the description box below. Uh, also, please remember to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell because there are more Advent Calendar videos coming soon. Uh, so you don't want to miss them. Uh, so yeah, um, that being said, uh, I'm going to start uh, unboxing this Advent Calendar. So it opens like this, like a wardrobe. Yeah. Oop. I almost dropped it. Okay. So yeah, this is how it looks inside. And um, I'm going to start straight away with number one, which is here. And we have something by Aqua di Parma. So we have a mini hat box from Aqua di Parma. You open it like that. It smells really nice. Uh, and you have two or three products inside um, that are wrapped in a separate uh, sheet of paper and yeah we have three uh, little products so this is a shower bath and shower gel body cream and um, some kind of perfume fragrance let me just have a quick sniff yeah it's very typical Aqua di Parma uh, scent, so I mean, that's um, probably something that my boyfriend will enjoy, enjoy a little bit more than I will. Uh, but in general, it's a really nice uh, set for day one. Day number two is up here, and we have something big inside. Something almost as big as the drawer. And this is a Lumen um, Valo Nordic Sea Glow Boost Essence. It looks like that. It must be a full size, it's 15 mils. Let me just show you how it looks inside. Okay. So this product contains vitamin C, wild arctic cloudberry, hyaluronic acid, and arctic spring water. That sounds really good. And apparently it should energize your skin, just give this youthful boost, and also like uh, smooth you and plump your skin a little bit. So that sounds really cool. That sounds like something I might actually need this winter. So number three down here, now we have something by Liz Earle. So we have uh, their very famous cleanse and Polish hot cloth cleanser. And we do have a cloth with it, uh, which is actually quite good because in some advent calendars you get uh, in one drawer, you get a cleanser and um, the cloth in the other. So here we have this, these two things in one drawer. Also like the cloth is actually full size. I think I've had one of these before and it was tiny. This one is Oh no, you have two of these. That's actually quite cool. You have two of these and uh, 30 ml of that cleanser. So this one contains rosemary, chamomile, cocoa butter and uh, eucalyptus essential oil. And it's a really good cleanser if you have, especially if you have like an everyday makeup. Um, I wouldn't probably use it for like a very heavy um, makeup when I have like layers on my face like now, for example. Uh, but for like everyday makeup is perfect. Number four up here, and uh, it looks like it's empty. No, there's something in here, and this is this is Bare Minerals Prime Time uh, Original Foundation Primer. Uh, so this is seven mils. It's a it's not even travel size. The sample, um, my least favorite product so far, just because it's tiny. They could have given us something a little bit bigger, right? Seven mils is really tiny. Number five here, and we have something by NARS. So we do have a, I think it's a lipstick. Yeah, it's a lipstick uh, in shade Tolite or Tolate. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, and it seems like it's going to be something more in the nude. Oh, look, look how pretty it looks actually. It's not a full size, it's like a travel size, but that doesn't really matter. The shade's gorgeous. The shade is really, really nice. Yes. That's a perfect shade for autumn. So really good drawer. So the first makeup item, and I'm really quite happy with that one. Uh, let's see what's uh, in the drawer number six, which I can't find it here. Uh, okay, and we have some cream, I think. This is... What is this? 
This is Evolve Organic Beauty in Bio Retinol Gold Mask for all skin types uh, with Beaten Spilosa, Gold Sparkles, and Rose Hip. And it's vegan. So this is 30 ml, a full size mask. I'm going to open it because <gasps> it's gold. <laughs> I didn't expect that, honestly. I mean, I can see the gold sparkles. I can't really tell much about the rose hip or bitten spilosa, whatever that is. But yeah, it definitely has gold spar sparkles. <laughs> I didn't expect to be gold, honestly. It smells like... It smells like something flowery, but I'm not sure if it smells like a rose. Um, I'm not really sure about that. Uh, but I mean, I didn't really expect it to be gold. It's proper gold thing. So how do you use it? Does it say anything? It's hundred percent natural. Apply a thick layer, leave five for five minutes, and rinse clean. That's really cool. I've never actually seen a mask that's actually that looks like that. That's you know. Very interesting. Door number six, and it's a full size. And uh, since it contains retinols, that's going to be my favorite mask for sure. So door number seven here. And we have uh, something by, by Terry. Uh, and we have like, a very traditional product. This is the uh, lip balm. Uh, a tiny one, but usually in Advent calendars you get either this one or the liquid one. Um, this is like a very tiny three grams uh, product and I already own it. Uh, but I don't think I've used it. I don't think I've tried it. But it smells lovely, it smells like roses, so if you like rosy scent, you'll appreciate it for sure. Number eight up here, and we have another, something that, that looks like cream, and it's not a cream again. Uh, this is Christoph Robin Cleansing Purifying Scrub with Sea Salt. And um, I've used some of Christoph Robin's products, and honestly I have like, um, mixed feelings about them. There are some of them I really love. And there are some of them that don't really do much to my hair, uh, so I'm not really sure about this one. I did have some um, some scrubs for my um, scalp, but uh, I'm not sure if that was this one or something else. Um, I don't know. But since I'm not sure, I'm going to give it a go for sure, and uh, maybe this one will be the one I love. Who knows? So quite a variety so far. We had some makeup, some skincare, some uh, fragrance, so a little bit of everything. Uh, so now we have number nine, which is here. It's surprisingly easy to find the numbers on this one. I usually struggle, but like this one is actually quite easy. And this is something by Clarins, and this is quite heavy. This is Relax Treatment Oil, soothing and relaxing 30 ml and 100% uh, plant extracts. It looks like this. I'm going to open it and show it to you. So it looks like this, and this is the type of oil you use on uh, your, like for example, sore muscles after training or when you're stressed. You can just put it on your temple or like on your chest or your abdomen. Uh, so this should relax your muscles a little bit. I'm going to have a sniff. Yeah, it has a really nice relaxing scent. Uh, very like, Herbal, I would say. It's really nice. Number 10 in here, and this is a Bobbi Brown mascara, smoky eye mascara to be exact. I think I've tried that before, and I actually I think I liked it too. Uh, but this one actually seems a little bit thinner than the previous one I had. Uh, also, the color is different. Uh, I remember the packaging of the one I've used was, um, was black, so maybe it was a different mascara, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I mean, definitely uh, something I will use, although I'm afraid that this uh, one may be not great for my short lashes, so I might only use it on my like bottom uh, lashes, that, that, that should be perfect for that. Number 11 here, and we have a scrunchie. Uh, this is um, Pure Silk Skinny Scrunchie by Slip. Uh, my only problem with this is that this is only single scrunchy, whereas maybe I would expect like a pack of three at least. But I'm not really complaining. I love these scrunchies. I use them like religiously. I even have one on my head right now, my hair. Uh, so yeah, I mean, these are amazing. If you have long hair that just kind of tangle easily, this is something, this is a must have, you know. This is something you really need to try. Number 12 down here. 
and uh, we're halfway through and this is discovery kit day oil night oil disciple okay uh so we have two oils in it and i think i've tried one of these i think i've tried the dreamy skin maybe so this is dreamy skin and good skin two oils and these are uh, the good skin is a lightweight yet nourishing blend of adaptogenic oils and prebiotic plant extract to balance purify and brighten skin and you just ma gently massage three to four drops into cleansed face and skin am or pm and dreamy skin is the ultimate skin regeneration reduces pigmentation lines and pore size deeply nourishing and radiance boosting and gently massage three to four drops into cleansed face and neck pm and use SPF AM. So yeah, the Dreamy Skin is, I think, is the one I've tried before and it contains some um, retinol derivatives. So that, that's the reason why it can only be used uh, in the evening. Uh, and that's why SPF is actually required in the morning. So um, yeah, I mean, I think I like that one. Uh, I think I like the Dreamy Skin. I've never tried a good skin. So I'm actually quite excited to give it a go now. Number 13, we have a big one. And... Yeah, something by Neum. This is uh, Neum uh, Organics London Perfect Night Sleep uh, Pillow Mist. Uh, and this is a scent to sleep. So I'm not a massive fan of Neum candles for some reason. I just, you know, smell so nice. Like a cold wax smells so nice. But when I burn them, I'm just, I just don't really get that. Uh, but I do love the pillow mist. So I'm really happy to have uh, this one again because I already own one of them. And I'm going to have a refill, which is good. Number 14 up here, and here we have Elemis. So we have a Pro Collagen Marine Cream, 15 mils. This actually appears quite a lot this season in Advent calendars and subscription boxes. And I don't really mind because it's a really, it's a great brand. And uh, this is, I think, the most famous um, cream. Uh, I like it. I do prefer a rich version though, because you know, I have dry skin. So I do prefer everything that's a little bit heavier or like, you know, just richer on my skin uh but in general i'm quite happy uh with having another uh 15 mils uh, sample of elemis number 15 is here and we have something by rodeo oh number 23 just dropped okay so number uh 15 rodeal and i think yeah it's a face mask um, snake oxygenating and cleansing bubble mask Freeze and smooth. Mm, okay, deep cleansing charcoal sheet mask enriched in O2 bubbles. That sounds really interesting. And uh, what does it do? So apparently, uh, synaged peptide helps to freeze the appearance of lines and wrinkles and hyaluronic acid plumps and moisturizers. And O2 bubbles oxygenates uh, and refreshes. That's actually quite interesting, especially about those like freezing uh, the appearance of lines and wrinkles. It works like a little bit like Botox. I'm really, I'm really curious about this one. I'm really curious if it actually does something like that or is it just like a marketing trick. But I'm um, definitely going to try this one. Number 16, it's up here. And here we have another fragrance. I do love getting fragrances. I do love getting and trying new scents. So this is Twilly Dermes uh, and... Um, this is Eau de Parfum. And how big is this? This is 7.5 mils. So yeah, I need to sniff it now. Oh, this smells so much better than <laughs> Aqua di Parma, in my personal opinion. Just so much more my fragrance. Yeah, it's really lovely. It's very floral. So number 17 here. And we have something tiny. We have Dermalogica uh, and this is Biolumin C eye serum. Okay, so this is eye serum, so it kind of explains the size. Uh, as for products for my eyes, uh, this is six mils. That's a perfect size for my eyes. I mean, I do, I did have this uh, eye cream that was like 30 mils and honestly, I just used like one fourth, like a quarter of of that product and I just got so bored. I mean, maybe if it was like super like compatible with my eye skin, like, and you know, amazing, but it was just okay. So I kind of like got bored 
with it quite easily and I just have to get rid of it. So um, six mils is perfect for your eyes. This is vitamin C eye serum that brightens and firms the eye area. That sounds really good. And I do like products with vitamin C. They actually um, work quite well with my skin. So yeah, uh, a really nice addition to my skincare collection. Number 18 up here. And here we have Charlotte Tilbury. Uh, so uh, this is color Chameleon. Uh, the shade is Dark Pearl. So let me just have a quick look. This also looks like it's full size. It's uh, 1.6 grams. I'm not really sure. It must be full size. I don't think they do anything bigger than that. Um, and yeah, let me just swatch it. Oh, the shade is gorgeous. It's really nice. It's like a proper Dark Pearl. I love it. So eyeshadow pencils, I kind of use them a lot uh, when I have that, like, no makeup day, but kind of just want to do something with my face to look nicer. So I kind of use them quite a lot then, and also love, just love to use them when I'm traveling because they're just... Um, makes so much sense in like a whole eyeshadow palette, right? Uh, so I just take one of these and I'm just done. So number 19, and we have something big in here, and this is Espa. Uh, this is the grounding crystals. So uh, what is that? Is a scrub. It says, begin your ritual, sprinkle crystals into a warm bath. Oh, that sounds amazing. And swirl through the water, watching them dissolve, breathing their nurturing aromatic and make it your intention to let go of any negativity as you sink your body into the fragrant water. Oh my God, that sounds amazing. That's a bath product. I just, I love bath products. Smells lovely. It smells just gorgeous. And I need to show you how they look. I mean, I hope I'm just all oh, make mess. I hope you can see. Uh, these are like purple and pink um, bath salts with like some herbs in it. It just smells so lovely and it looks amazing. So yeah, uh, I think this is one of my favorite products in this advent calendar, honestly. Number 20 is down here and we have something by Aiko. And luckily it's not a, a mascara because honestly I don't like the mascaras. But this is just me. Uh, I know people who actually love them. Uh, for me, it's just with my lashes, I just kind of need something. Uh, more heavy duty. Uh, so yeah, this is their eyeliner. Um, it's skinny, uh, smudge proof, precise, pitch black, uh, liquid eyeliner. And yeah, I actually like their eyeliner. So this is all good. I'm glad we have an eyeliner. Number 21. And it's getting more difficult to find the doors. Um, no. Uh, number 21 is up here. And we have another fragrance, I'm assuming. Yeah. This is Irres Irresistible by Givenchy. So here we have eight mils of fragrance. I love the bottle. I mean, those tiny bottles are so cute. I mean, they just sometimes they just look even nicer than the, pro the, the full size ones, honestly. And um, how does it smell? It's really nice feminine fra fragrance. It's a floral but a little bit fresh too. It has some freshness. Um, I would probably say this is a good fragrance for spring and summer. Not very, oh, oh there is a little bit of a like, gourmandish note in it. But guys, I mean, I have just put so many products on my uh, on my hands at the moment. That I'm not really sure uh, what I can smell at the at right now, but yeah, it's definitely sweet. It's definitely, um, I would say more like lightweight. I would, I, would, I would wear it in spring and summer, uh, but I really like it. Uh, I'm not really sure. I probably just have to try all those fragrances on my skin when I don't have anything else because now I just put like so many products on my uh, palms um, that uh, it just might be a little bit mixed. Number 22 and then we have another big drawer in here and this is something by Estée Lauder. Uh, and what is this? This is Revitalizing Supreme Plus Global Anti-Aging Cell Power Cream and I've tried it before and this is amazing. This is such a good cream. Um, how big is this? This is 15 mils. And I think I had 15 mils last time and it was gorgeous. It was so good. Um, I really like this cream and uh, I've tried the uh, eye cream from the same range. And it was, it, it, I think it's, the, the eye cream is actually my favorite eye cream ever. Uh, but the face cream is amazing too. So I'm really happy to have a refill. Mm, I have so many face creams, honestly, uh, in my stash. But uh, this probably will go to my 
um, wash bag straight away. I'm going to start using it uh, really soon. So we have like three last uh, drawers at the moment. 23 is uh, somewhere. It's here. Okay. So we have a Laura Mercier product um, and this looks quite big. Um, I mean, six grams, I guess, again, a full size. This is blush in shade pomegranate. Oh, this is really nice. This is really nice, although for certain skin types, it might be a little bit too dark, but I'm going to swatch it somewhere. I think this hand is actually, yeah, it's quite intense. It's very intense. So for some people, it might be a little bit too dark, I guess, but um, it actually blends nicely. It will just give you this proper <laughs> red cheeks, like, you know, proper blush. Quite intense. I mean, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to use it, but I wouldn't say it's like a very universally universally flattering color. It's something more uh, on the intense side of the spectrum. Last but one, number 24, Christmas Eve is up here, and we have we have Luna Sleeping Night Oil by Sunday Riley, and uh, this is fifth. 15 mils of product. I've never tried that one. Uh, this is a um, sleeping oil with retinol and blue tansy. I love anything by retinol. I do like oils, like oil serums. Um, not like face oils, but oil serums are great. And, uh, you know, everything that contains retinol is actually something I'm going to use straight away. So I'm really happy with this one. I want to try that forever, actually. So on the last day, 25. We have a large draw again and we have a Shiseido product and this is actually quite big usually you get like a really tiny samples of Shiseido product because they're quite pricey this is actually 15 mils and this is something a bit different than what you usually get this is power infusing eye concentrate so you usually get the face one this is an eye concentrate. So I've tried the face one and I was really happy with the results. The only thing that the face um, uh, face concentrate has uh, quite a lot of alcohol, the natural in it, which is not really great for your skin in the long run. Uh, this one has alcohol natural on the one, two, three, four, fifth position, which is not that bad, um, but it's still there. So probably something you would like to use um, like maybe use up one bottle and then just have a break or something because I wouldn't really recommend using a product that contain um, alcohol denaturate for like longer periods of time because it may just more it may just do more harm than good. Uh, but in general, I'm you know this is a really good day number twenty five. So there you go. This is everything in this year's John Lewis Advent Calendar. Uh, what do you guys think? I personally liked it. I, I like the fact that there was like a quite a lot of variety. Uh, so there were some fragrances, some skincare products, some makeup, and a really good makeup actually. And uh, yeah, we had quite a nice mixture of products. Uh, so that's something I liked. Uh, there are some products I've never tried before, there are some good brands, uh, which I always appreciate. Um, there were like two, no, I think it was the only one product that the size was actually a little bit disappointing. But in general, I think, I think this is actually quite a good advent calendar. So these are my thoughts about this advent calendar. What do you guys think? I would really love to hear your thoughts. Uh, are you going to buy this advent calendar or were you just even considering buying this? Or uh, do you have maybe something else on your mind? Uh, thank you very much for, for watching. Uh, thank you for your time. Uh, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't done that yet. And have a look at our Instagram because we are posting quite many um, unboxing videos there. Uh, especially um, subscription boxes uh, that were kind of moved from YouTube to Insta Instagram for like a um, time being just to make more space for advent calendars. Uh, so thank you once again for watching this video and see you soon.